Hi friends, this is Prashant. Uh, today we will discuss with which physical quantities we have to convert means if it is not given in SI. So whether you have to convert each and every quantity or not, all, all that part we will discuss. Now we will start with first chapter. First chapter, if the question is based on moment of force or torque is equal to say it is magnitude of force into perpendicular distance now if they ask torque it is moment of force force is given in newton and distance perpendicular distance is given in centimeter then you have to convert that centimeter into meter right that is one thing if the question is same question but force is given in what dyne or of force is given in kgf or gf if it is in dyne you have to convert into newton what is the conversion one newton is 10 raised to 5 dyne so one dyne is 10 raised to minus 5 newton now if the question that force is in kgf now kgf to newton convert karna hai. so one kgf is equal to g newton g is what acceleration due to gravity so G ka value will be given either as 9.8 Newton or it is given as what 10 Newton. So whatever is the value given according to you change. Right? That is one part. Now there are some questions where they are based on principle of moments. Right? Like question number 9 from your textbook, Salina, where a meter rule is given then f1 l1 is equal to f2 l2 so in this kind of questions when it is in equilibrium no need to convert everything in si you can keep as it is suppose kgf may force in distance is in centimeter keep everything as it is no need to convert right that is one thing Achha. now if we talk about second chapter the second chapter may there are many confusions because they will give you force is in kgf you need to convert that kgf to newton so again you multiply by g g will be given either 9.8 or 10 Achha. now suppose displacement is in centimeter you need to convert that displacement into what meter so what is the conversion centimeter to meter 10 raised to minus 2 meter 1 centimeter is 10 raised to minus 2 meter and so on then Suppose they want answer in electron volt. So electron volt. So what you will do? So you take that answer in joule. Divide that answer by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19. Why? Because 1 electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 joule. Now suppose question is in question me given is ki energy is in electron volt. So how to convert that from electron volt to joule? So one electron volt is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 joule. So what you will do, whatever that number, multiply by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19. The answer will be in joule. Now, sometimes they want power in watt and power in HP. So if they asked in watt is a basic thing, but if they ask in HP, so divide that number of power, power that value, in watt divided by 746 so 1 hp is 746 watt so conversion that part then you have uh, in part b of the second chapter you have like question is k is equal to half mv square right k is equal to p square upon 2m then work done is equal to change in kinetic energy half mv square minus half mu square so in that if they asked if they have given velocity in say kilometer per hour so how to convert from kilometer per hour to meter per second to so multiply by 5 by 18 right multiply by 5 by 18 for example say initial velocity is 36 kilometer per hour so 36 into 5 by 18 that comes out to be 10 meter per second now if time is given in minutes you need to convert that into what second for work energy power relation now <clears throat> you have questions in C current electricity where bill amount of bill is asked cost of bill so there uh, you need to 
but of that strategy will be different as compared to this part so we'll discuss that after some time now if we are dealing with the third chapter acha if the mass second chapter mass is given in gram you need to convert it into kg so 1 gram is 10 raised to minus 3 kg so convert that gram to kg divided by 1000 now if we go with the third chapter almost nothing is difficult all convergences either you keep in as it is or if they ask say say if they ask find the work input work output or what is the power input power output then only you convert everything in si otherwise you can keep as it is now fourth fifth chapter uh, no as such no, fourth chapter nothing no difficult numericals but if fifth chapter there is no conversion but there are important terms that is called uh, sign convention so for sign convention we have already discussed so i am again repeating that part for convex lens for convex lens you have to follow that cartesian sign convention convex lens object distance is always negative that is u is always negative focal length is always positive f is always positive and v that is image distance is positive for real image and it is negative for virtual image only one case last case of convex lenses is the important where virtual magnified image is obtained in case of concave lens everything is negative u v and f but how will you distinguish u is greater than v object distance is always greater than what image distance that is a key point now formula will be 1 by v minus 1 by u is 1 by f then you have power of lens power of lens is expressed in diopter so p is equal to 1 by f p is equal to what 1 by f so uh, for convex lens focal length is positive so power is positive and for concave lens power is negative since focal length is negative so you have uh, some kind uh, numericals in uh, some uh, prelim paper have also कि यू हैव टू लेंसेज वन इज कॉन्वेक्स अदर इज कॉन्केव कॉन्वेक्स का पावर इज गिवन कॉन्केव का पावर इज गिवन वॉट इज द पावर ऑफ रिजल्ट इन दैट कॉम्बिनेशन एंड हाउ इट विल बी योर सो द सिंपल कंसेप्ट इज पी इज इक्वल टू पी वन प्लस पी टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ पी वन इन डायोप्टर पी टू इन डायोप्टर एट दम बेसिकली जस्ट एड सब्टैक एड एंड एडिशन और सब्टैक्शन वॉट एवर सपोज योर पावर इज प्लस टू डायोप्टर दैन इट इज प्लस टू इंडिकेट it is plus indicate convex lens right to converging action if it is suppose answer is minus 2 diopter negative sign it is diopter uh, it is con- diverging that is concave lens resultant right then we'll go with the sound chapter sound uh, almost velocity should be in meter per second then distance should be in meter time should be in second right that's it and nothing difficult in that part if we go with the current electricity So in current electricity, there are so many numericals around sixty six, sixty seven numericals, unsolved numericals, not solved, unsolved, right? Uh, here we have different quantities like current. Current should be in ampere, right? If in question uh, current is given in milliampere, you need to convert that into ampere. So one milliampere is ten raised to minus three ampere. Then you have to mention direction also current ka. If whenever it is specified, like first question. the given electrons are moving from a to b the current will be from b to a because that is a conventional current which is opposite to flow of electrons now next is around current me you have uh, charge on electron is minus 1.6 so when you substitute that value in new by in numerical you have to take the magnitude so e is equal to plus 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb then time should be in what seconds then next topic will be same chapter you have numerical based on ohms law v is equal to ir so v should be in volt i should be in ampere r should be in ohm right then you have question like r is equal to rho l upon a rho is specific resistance or resistivity si unit is ohm meter so there are some schools that giving rho ka value in ohm centimeter you need to convert that into ohm meter Then the radius is given in millimeter. You need to convert at one millimeter is ten raised to minus three meter. Then the resistance should be in what meter? So accordingly, that they will ask. Uh, they will ask for value of L. Now here, when we do this numerical, the pi ka value pi pi right should be three point one four. Don't take twenty two as seven. 
there is nothing wrong but calculation will be lengthy so you will be stuck in that calculation so i don't want uh, you will lose marks because of this silly mistake right because of 22 as no use 3.12 okay now if we go with the b part of current there is a potential difference it should be in volt emf should be in volt internal resistance external resistance should be in ohm right that is very simple then don't forget to uh, write the in parallel combination we have formula is 1 by r p is 1 by r 1 plus 1 by r 2 plus 1 by r 3 so finally r p is equal to something is there reciprocal karna bhoor jate so that should not be the case reciprocal especially in parallel combination so when they write uh, for the formula also they write r p equal to 1 upon r 1 plus 1 no it is 1 by r p is equal to 1 by r 1 plus 1 by r 2 and so on okay now next topic will be current electricity part c where you have w is equal to v i t i square r t v square t upon r here uh, remaining questions will be uh, answer should be in si unit but there is one question like what is the cost of bill right in that type of question your time has to be in hours power if it is given in kilowatt no need to divide by thousand but if it is given in watt you have to convert that into kilowatt so kilowatt r is a acha if they ask a question what is the formula so cost of bill is equal to power into time into number of days right upon 1000 into rate suppose number of days are not mentioned so you take it as one right suppose there are many appliances so each appliance ka power into time right into number of hours Sorry, sorry. That is power into time plus another device, right? Into how many days into rate divided by thousand. That will be your cost of it, right? Now next topic will be electromagnetism, no numericals. You have calorimetry. Calorimetry me the basic formula is Q is equal to mc delta T. Q should be in joule, right? C is in joule per kilogram per kelvin. That is the SI unit, but there are questions where you can have c ka value in joule per gram degree celsius per degree celsius so that is nothing wrong because it is value is fixed right then uh, if they ask a question p into t is equal to mc delta d if the time is given in minutes you need to convert that into seconds right that is one part then calorimetry part b numericals basically no conversion is required because Sometimes what happen now? So if you want to reduce your calculation, give everything in CGS. Suppose gram mass the air ten gram, right? C W the air four thousand two hundred. So no need to convert that mass to kg. Convert that four thousand two hundred to four point two, na? Why you want to increase your calculation? Reduce that calculation. So this way you, I will help you to uh, focus more on which part, which are the. which are the areas where you can lose marks so i will make some uh, short short videos and it will not take 10 15 20 minutes so and don't spend your uh, say productive time to watch my videos whenever you are watching say you are tired you just open my video just go through it what i am saying because that will hammer you uh, for getting good marks good marks means what i am expecting 80 so it is difficult but still you can do this part right so uh, be focused if you have any doubts you can ask me that doubts i'm available uh, but uh, don't expect ki every time i will pick your call just send me message right that is also uh, i'm getting a doubt if a doubt is not say relevant to the topic or so then i will not, i may not uh, reply your answer so they think that that question is not so important. right now just uh, we'll meet again uh, say in next day tomorrow i will send one more video with some different topic like which are the mistakes uh, students are doing major uh, mistakes in exam what what precaution you will take uh, when you uh, look at your paper in that last 30 minutes like which area you where you can lose maximum marks or how to reduce that mistake right that's it for this video thank you so much